it's snowing. We got our snow. Um, let's see what is today. Uh, December 2nd. We got some snow. So now we crawl in here. And today I'm going to try and get the diffuser. Um, so we got these really little side pieces. Um, I'm going to clamp them together, grind them so they're like matching. Um, and then we're going to get them mounted. Uh, basically, I'll drill holes through both and then rivet them on. Um, so there's that's that's the plan with those. Um, and once that's done, uh, the diffuser is we we'll probably say like 80% done, something like that, because. I need to put some reinforcements on the back side, um, and then once all that's done, I mean, in the end, I have to take it all back apart and then paint it. I'm gonna use truck bed liner, um, truck bed liner on the outside part, and then I'll do truck bed liner on the back with a rubberized uh, coating over that, just to try and get rid of noise. Um, one of you guys suggested that. That's a good idea. We'll be doing that. Because um, I got already got like a couple cans of them anyhow. So, works out. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and just get those things clamped together. Get them looking the same. And then we can put them on. So let's do that. Alright, so I got them kind of just clamped together. It's not perfect because back here I got this flange still. Um, and as you can tell, one is longer than the other. So that's fabulous um but uh yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and get this matching and we should be good to go with that um and then we'll see for what happens from there all right so i cut this side straight and then we got this stuff all straightened out oh, as good as it's gonna get um oh well, it's kind of all moved but it's it's close enough like i'll the fronts will be lined up perfect they're good because i did that first and then we cut the back but it kind of wiggled its ease as you can see um so now uh we gotta go get them mounted so let's uh do that all right so i think this is where i'm gonna end up with because i actually kind of like this better i was gonna have it come out to here but i don't know it just sticks out a lot from the side this kind of gradualizes it, um, so I kind of like this better. Um, so it's tucked right up in there. Same thing here. Um, so now what we're gonna do is drill some holes through here and there, and then we'll be able to attach it. Um, I know we've also got some points inside here. We just move all this shit. So I know we've got some attaching points inside here, right there. So we can also use that to our advantage as well. Um, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Getting real close to the tire. So that's all right. We can always trim that stuff later. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's where we're at. So now let's go ahead and get those things drilled, get them riveted on, and then that should be good. So let's do that. All right, so there's that one, and then we got this one. Um, but uh, yeah, there's not much more to say. So that's kind of what it looks like from the top. And same thing over here. Um. I think there's a little bit off, but it's not noticeable from the naked eye, I don't think. Or if you're not really looking for it. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is put a bolt through here. Like a nut and bolt and some washers. Try and figure out like a fancy way to make it look good out here. But just have a washer go right through there. Um, same thing on this side. Um, I have like a little flange back here. Which holds on to like the lip there. Um, so, but yeah, I think it looks good. Um, I moved the screws from the center out to the sides here. Um, I will have to probably fill in all of these holes that I've made. 
Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of just where we're at, guys. Um, now, I have my license plate light. I'm going to probably try and do that right now. Um, so let me go grab those, and we can try and get that wired in. So let's do that. Build a quick hole kind of where I want it. I think that should be good. Um, I tried it. It looks like it's pretty bright. I haven't tried it in this location. Um, it's just got like little LEDs in there that'll shine that way. I don't see why it wouldn't light up the whole thing. So, but yeah, that should look pretty good. Looks pretty clean. Can't really notice it. I mean, who's really looking at that type of shit? But, but yeah, so now um, I'm going to actually drill this hole bigger. I'm going to put a plug on this. I actually have two of these, but I'm only going to use one. But I'm going to put a plug on it so that way it's changeable. Plus, it has to go into the harness back here. I have to break into this and then hook it up to the running lights, which is like, I think, the brown wire. And then, obviously, the ground, which is also in there, which I could actually ground this to wherever, but I'll probably just put it in the harness um, just because it's easier. And then we'll just put a plug on there like we did over there. And then, so this thing will be able to unplug, so that way the taillight panel can come out as one, and then like that could all come off as one. I'm trying to make sure that it's like, I'm not like screwing myself and I have to disassemble half the shit. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan. So let's do that. Let's do some donies in the truck. So, I don't remember if I showed, but I drilled the hole bigger. Um, and then I put some shrink tubing over the wiring. And then I just uh, crimped these on and soldered them. Just soldered it. Um, and then we'll be putting this guy onto here. And then we'll shrink down. Sorry, I wasn't pointing the camera. but So we'll put these guys on here. And then we'll shrink down all this wire. So, But yeah, let's uh, get this. We gotta crimp these guys, these uh, waterproof parts, crimp those down, and then we're good to go to put it in. So let's do that. All right, there it is. Got the shrink tubing shrink down, and then the connector is in there. They're in there. So that's pretty sweet. And then I haven't even checked, but it fits. So that's good. I probably wasn't even fucking looking at it. Jesus Christ, sorry guys. All right, but yeah, it fits in there, so we're good to go there. So basically, we'll slide this bitch up in there, and boom. And then we'll just uh, probably self-tap these in with some little self-tappers. So, but uh, yeah, so let's do that. All right, there it is. It's in. Looks like it's fairly centered. Maybe off a little bit. Who knows? But, like again, like I said before, you really won't notice. So, but uh, yeah. So now we got to do the other side and get that wired into that taillight harness. So let's do that. All right, so there it is. I just put some butt splices in there and then shrink tubed and soldered and all that good shit. So now let's plug this in and see if it works. All right, there they are on and boom, there it is. It actually works pretty good. So that's pretty nice. Now we just got to finalize up the wiring for at least what we just did. And we're good for that, so let's do that. All right, so there it is. Um, so yeah, this can probably be it for this one, guys. So we got the sides done. License plate is in. Our license plate light. So just a couple more little things done today. We got a lot of little things to do. We got to do the mounting for this, um, which is I'm, I gotta get metal. I'm waiting on metal for a lot of stuff. Um, I do want to try and make louvers, but that's gonna be the turbo is gonna create some issues, and I just I need to figure out how I want to do it. So I'd like to do them. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, so we got that. We gotta finish up the roof scoop. Um, it's it's kind of done. I mean, the diffuser's still not completely done either. I need to build some supports for uh, these guys right here. We need to get the bolts for holding the sides in. Um, 
I think that, and then obviously we got to paint it. Um, I did end up cutting these guys off. Like I just kind of, they're still a little bit there, so that way it holds. And that looks a lot better. Um, and then uh, we need to get some rubber hose for putting over the bumper to help make it look nice and clean. Um, so we got to do that. Um, I'd like to get something for these edges. Um, I'm not sure what. Um, we'll see. Um, trying to think. And then, so, like, we also got this deck that we need to, like, go through. Because we got to fill, like, this hole. Um, I thought that was a hole, but it's not. This is the other hole. So from the, where the spoiler used to be. And then we got to take these out. Put, fill those in. Um, and then I got to figure out how I'm going to mount it. Um, and there's that. Um, and then I also have a big surprise coming. Um, my tablet's probably going to be going away. Like, I mean, I could still use the tablet, but I have a replacement because after overheating it, like last year, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to risk that ever again. So we got something new coming. It's freaking sweet. Look forward to that. Um, but yeah, and then we also still got to make uh, the modification for this because I want this to, you know, I want to create a fiberglass piece that will feed it into there better. Um, yeah, and then obviously we still got to do the motor work. Um, but that's being taken care of at the moment. Um, but yeah, okay, that's it. Um, let me flip the camera around. And then I'm still wearing my hat. If you guys want one of these hats, they're $25 shipped to your door. In the states, I don't know if it goes anything different outside. It's twenty bucks for a hat, and then five dollars shipped. I have two hats on there. I have a Fiero one, and then I have it's like a Fiero one with an emblem and shit. Um, I'll put the link in the description for this one, and I should be able to find the other one I think on there. Um, I also can do decals now, so if you need decals, hit me up. I can do decals. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.